my dream is actually to create a space that has all of these applications in one place. So as your walls and, and this sort of style, sacred murals and artwork, a gallery, basically a place for people to come and to be and to receive those frequencies of nature expressed and embodied through reverent art, I guess is the way to describe it. Um, so that you can have have tea or meat at a certain place at a certain time, and it really opens you up because of the frequency of what it represents and how it was expressed. I love that phrase, reverent art. Yeah. I don't like visionary art, but with a twist. Yeah. <laughs> Will you do that here in Dallas? I don't know. If Dallas wants it here. I kind of have been going where I've been called. Yeah. And uh, I know that it's going to it's going to unfold in its own time the space and kind of I've seen it embodied in certain places. If you've ever been to Santa Fe, there's a great place called Body of Santa Fe. This woman named Lauren Parrish, I believe I'm getting her name correct, she basically recreated a grocery store and turned it into an amazing space. It's got a spa, it's got a raw organic food cafe, kind of an event space where they do yoga and dance. And it's also got a retail space. It's place for people to gather and commune and that's quite unique. So that's the vision. I'd also like to create a space for artists to create their work and for people to create work that is of that heart set, mindset. The vision, I guess I was describing it earlier to a friend that it's to share and reflect and express our deepest gifts of the heart so that through those sharings and expressions, it opens up others with inspiration to be able to share, connect, and express their deepest gifts of the heart. And that being done through frequency fields, like you just go to nature and you, you're inspired you know, in terms of being in that space, in that place. Something similar to that. And those things that you described that, that the woman in Santa Fe has going on, mm -hmm. they just seem natural things like movement and healing and eating. Yeah. Those are huge things that you want to imbue with that kind of awareness. Uh -huh. And there's so many examples and ways that throughout history we've done that in different ways and forms. And cultures express that. And, I think it's part of a reconnection with our roots, so to speak, of being connected and awake and conscious of who we are and where we are. And at the same time, it's not a particular practice, it's not a particular way, it's not a particular religion or dogma or path, it's more of a frequency field is how I describe it. It's like being in nature. It's a spiritual experience if you open up to it. It doesn't require any kind of intermediary. But then again, I don't know of many places in cities or civil civilized communities that have that kind of atmosphere. And then some of the examples that I was just describing, but then bringing that kind of depth and connection back to those experiences is pretty amazing. That's why I love Move Studio so much, because dance has always been a part of our connection in that way in many cultures. So this is a great venue.